Admiral's log. Over the past few years, the tensions between our empire and the Chinese have built up. This powder keg has finally exploded with the death of one of their politicians. They claimed Japan was behind it, and the war began. While we have new battleships and battlecruisers for this fight, our heavy and light cruisers are largely outdated. To still get the most out of these older ships, I've decided not to rotate the captains of these ships to newer ships. Some of these captains have commanded their ships for six years, which is far longer than usual. It makes sure that they intimately know their ship and its capabilities extremely well. I hope that this expert level of control will compensate for the older technology that these ships use. What I'm very curious to see is how well the new Mikasa class ship of Battleship will perform. One of our battleships of this class is now steaming to meet an enemy task force. Their 16 gun broadside hasn't been tested in battle yet, but I expect great things. We still have some older battle cruisers in our lines as well. While I was planning to take these ships out of service and scrap them, I hadn't quite gotten around to doing so just yet. This means that now they'll be part of the war fleet, even with their limited armor. If they're able to maintain a position as a second line ship, Firing from afar, then they should still be useful. Hey guys, Stealth here and welcome to episode 7 of the Japanese campaign. I am clashing with a Japanese group. I call it a clash of fleets. I think that's a bit of an overstatement because it's just two battleships and three heavy cruisers. I'd more consider this a task force. Either way, uh, these guys have two different ships of the Zexu Mortar ship. Uh, they got 11-inch guns and... Considering the name of the ship, I suspect it might be one that's been sent in by one of you. But I'm not 100%. Um, Dalian, Rehe, and Ding Zhao do carry torpedo tubes and a lot of them. Sorry, only this one, the light cruiser, carries 12. We've already seen this one before. What we have not seen in conflict yet is Nigitsu. She's the leader of her class. She's carrying 8 13 inch guns which is more power, well, they're bigger guns than these guys, but these guys got 12, I only have 8, but I also got the Maya, and she has another 8 13-inch guns, or 12.9s. The rest is a bunch of light cruisers, and if I can break through the screen of heavies, the lights can torpedo these guys to death. So, I think that should be the tactic for this particular battle. Let's break up their formation, try and take out some of their cruisers, and allow all of my own light cruisers to swarm the enemy. I'm going to have Nagitsu and Maya in the same group, just to make it a little easier to manage. Uh, normal formation, please. Light cruisers are going to be in the same group. So that's you guys. And then Division 3 is a couple of my destroyers. Everybody denied on torpedo launching. Let's go and find the enemy, which are supposedly to the southeast. And here we go, we're getting met by incoming fire as the Nigitsu has been detected. The first ship to get detected, interestingly, is their battleship. Which has a really unconventional loadout. Considering how weird the ship looks, this has to be sent in by one of you. I mean, turrets half hanging over the side of the ship. 12 guns like this. It's a really odd design. Do they have anything else? 12 5.2s. So they do have more. Hmm. Okay. Let's keep our distance with the DDs for a bit. Let's have the CLs go the other way. I want both of you to smoke yourselves up. And I want the battleship to start engaging. We're already getting 16% out of them. Which I think for starting salvos is really promising. Maya, about 4.7. Maya has um, a bit of an odd loadout. More focused towards warfare behind her than in front of her. She needs to be pretty far broadside in order to really use all of her firepower. That's somewhat of a concern. But we should be able to get her that space behind the DDs and behind the CLs. Over here we have one of the heavies. No, sorry, it's the lights. It's that five funnel light class. Alright, dude. And 
this. You're a heavy cruiser. Hello. You are the same as before. 11.9s and a bunch of 4 inch guns on the sides. Really dangerous 2 DDs. Absolutely not something I want to get close to. I want you to slow down to full speed. Oh, 13 inch pan through the aft belt. Causing massive amounts of damage to this ship. And substantial flooding by the looks of it as well. Partial pen. Maya, what do you shoot? Uh, capitalistic AP shells. Excellent. Why are you not shooting those? AP. Here, this target. Maya's just blowing away one of these ships. Look at this guy go down. Sir, do you not have bulkheads? Did you forget something on the way here? The Peter range is only four. We cannot engage yet. Seriously, this battleship is good as dead? Ooh, nope. A little fell short. DDs turn back. Sorry. I'm completely missing the point. I'm killing a light cruiser, not something bigger than that. I'm focusing on a light cruiser. Ugh. Okay, fine. Never mind. The battleships are both perfectly healthy and there is nothing to worry about for the battleships. Uh, now I understand where you're firing high explosive. And why, arguably, you should be firing high explosive. Yeah, you are targeting the battleship, but you can't pen it. Okay. That's enlightening. Look at that. I've done 6200 damage and they've done 26. What a joke. Ooh, decent shot. Damage the secondary tower. Not that much, though. There's the Ding Zhao. Badly, badly, badly damaged. Hold on, this is a different design than what we've seen previously, actually. These carry 7-inch guns. Maximum bulkheads, standard quarters, pitch and roll are a bit high. But no longitudinal or transverse weight offset. That's interesting. So... But a player design. Could be. Not me, anyway. So their battleship, Sangui, many bulkheads, standard quarters, bigger beam, lower, lower draft, just exact 10 and minus 10, I think this is a player design. Armor belt, 6 inches of superstructure armor, and the rest of everything rounded out, yeah, definitely player. That means I could... <laughs> that adapted by AP or HE? No, it's not. <laughs> okay, so that's a nice tank you got there. Um, many bulkheads. Anti-flood 2. No anti-torp? Really? That's really promising. What do you fire? AP. That's really interesting. So... If you guys don't have an anti-torpedo system, or blister really, then your ability to deal with torpedoes that you're getting hit by is substantially reduced. Hmm. We're gonna exploit that. As to dealing with their battleships. Well, that could take me a while. If I can hit them in the first place, that'd be great. Let's see. Miss, 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 miss. Everything missing. What the hell, dude? Alright, new plan. Target the last cruiser again and get rid of that. Because my original plan might still work. If the enemy is utterly and utterly unable to deal with my torpedo attacks, then going and eliminating their escorts could be the way through. Go with AP against the Ding Zhao. We can surely pan that, right? No, we can't. Let's try. What, what kind of armor you got? Almost nothing. Boom. That was a partial pen. And that was... That was blocked?
That was a main gun shell that was blocked. The armor pen makes absolutely no sense in this game. It is just ridiculous. It doesn't mean anything. Go on. There you go. 800 damage. 67% chance to pen. Maya shouldn't be firing at the Nagitsu because she's slightly quicker. Come on. Yes. 8,000 damage. Beautiful. Next target. Dalian. Go for AP. Next target. Dalian. Light cruisers are getting somewhat hit, but nothing dramatic. And they're, I'd say their most difficult to hit target's been killed. Now, what's the chance of these boys to pin me? Really bad. They can hit the superstructure and deal damage to that. And the main hull should be fine. With a battle cruiser, I'm not so confident. Because this battle cruiser doesn't have as much armor. It's still one of the old designs. It's one of the old units. Um... It's a glass cannon. I didn't design it. Player did. So. Oh, we're getting pretty decent chances to pin you now. You're not as invulnerable as I thought you were. Is it better here? 33%. I like those odds. 12% chance to hit. Boom. Partial pen. Fire. Not bad. DDs. The opportunity is not quite there yet. So stay around. Just don't push in yet. Comes the funnel. 98% structural. Bloody hell. Go HE. 20% chance to hit. We're setting some fires. That is laughable. Ah, flooding. And your rudder just took a hit. That's what I call progress. Now, if their battleships can't do that much, then their heavy cruisers can do even less. Uh, what? Oh, God. Are you one of those... Yeah, capitalistic one shells. Okay. So, this cruiser... has more pin than their battleship. That's concerning. Oh, they're shooting the Maya. That may mean I need to take down their heavy cruiser before I go for the battleship. 41 million. 13 million. Uh, turn. Smoke screens on the veil. DDs. Go. At this angle, I can't pen that. Oh. Destroyed main gun. Really? Very good. Pen. 13 inch gun right through the aft belt. Excellent. Comes to the secondary tower. Fire. And now 5% crew loss. Yoshino needs to get out of here. She's been too badly damaged. You're going to retreat. The rest of you, maintain course. Not normal formation. Ow. That was the cruiser that pent me. Yeah, we're going to have to prioritize these cruisers. These are more dangerous. Interesting. Cruiser with bigger teeth than a battleship. I mean, it's not impossible. It's just a little irregular. Partial pen. Good. That was a good partial pen. Knocked off most of their stern. Maya. Prioritize the Dalian. DDs. Might be going for the Yi Ying. It's a stretch, though. Pretty good? Yeah, we're good. That flooding is barely gonna do anything. Ooh. Rest of the CLs. We're going to attack them from two different sides. 
I cannot quite get a cross torp in because they're too maneuverable. I'm going to have to try and just launch a bunch of torpedoes into them. Max bulkheads. Little bit of damage. Just try and hit this with HE. So we can do <laughs> just a tiny bit of fire damage, I guess. Now it's time to smoke up. Go to two times speed. They cannot launch torpedoes at me. Now my instinct says go for the battleship, but practically I should go for the cruiser. Considering that the cruiser is more dangerous. Also, are you under attack yet? You are not. They're engaging the... Oh, now you are. Badly as well. Uh, this is your target. Problem is that the Dalian's pretty quick. 22 knots. Getting a Torp to hit that. Won't be easy. Ow. Break up the formation. Stay in your lane. Don't launch. Don't launch. Split the div. Torp the ship. Ship. What? Oh, you're torping the other guy? I'm not even sure what you're doing at this point. Off. Split. Leave. Hit. Move. Move. Did I just hit this with a torp? No. Oh boy, that was a lot of damage. 10,000. And there goes the body as well. Their battleship has taken severe damage in this flooding. Let's see if we can add to their misery a bit more. With whatever is left of the destroyers. Battleship and battlecruiser still slugging it out with the heavy cruiser. Proving to be really difficult to kill. There you go. More torpedoes hit the Yi Ying. Boom! Flash fire issues. Ow. Are you dead? Well, you are now. You sure as hell are now. Excellent. That's a battleship gone. Their heavy cruiser is not really in a position to do much against my DDs anymore. Uh, two of my CLs are dead. Two are retreating. Yeah, fuck it. We're gonna launch. It's a really bad angle. But they got a lot of pissed off 5.2s. There it is. There it is. Ooh. They're turning to starboard. Keep that in mind when you're launching torps, please. Send it. No. Too late. What a massacre. What a massacre. Okay, so what are you trying to shoot? A CA. The way over there. This CA is a little closer, but not that much. Their battleship's perfectly healthy, but the other one's dead. So we're making some progress. It's just going at the expense of my awful light cruisers. Which I don't like losing because it's giving them victory points, but on the other hand, well... It's not that bad. How much is a light cruiser anyway? Five million. Does that make these things more expensive? Not by much. <laughs> Partial pen. Blocked. Switch to the other heavy cruiser, please. Partial pen. Partial pen. That seems to be the name of the game. Everything missed. Out of my damage dealers, I think Nagitsu did most. No! Wrong. The Maya did more. By a substantial margin. 14k. 
versus 8.3. Gotta keep my armor a bit angled, because this heavy can just punch right through it. Now it can't. Ow! Rudder damaged. I know I'm pushing right into a battleship, but I'm hoping to try and still use my torpedo launchers against it. Ow! Good lord. Calm down. Where are the torpedo launchers on this ship anyway? Stern, starboard, port. 2.3 is too far, I don't trust that. Oh, I got 6 kilometer range. Helpful. Switch target. Damage the main tower now, I'm gonna get to. Maya, rush in there now. Locked. Locked. Didn't hit. I don't like how this battle is developing right now. Come on, Agitsu. This is your opportunity. Before they get too badly angled. That's it? Underperforming. No, they can't really damage me, but they can damage the Maya. Gotta focus our efforts on one ship. Flooding. Progress. Switch to this guy. I gotta kind of hold my course with Nagitsu because I cannot change. The moment I change direction, I'm going to run into trouble with the heavy cruisers penning me. Destroyed main tower? Now well, that's just rude. Oh, this battle cruiser is probably going to be dead. I know that I could have stayed at range throughout the whole battle and be safe. It would also be boring. There we go. Knock this thing down. It would also be boring. Um, I would much rather just go point blank range. Pretty much as I'm doing right now. Rather than do a whole battle at long range. Just not my style. That's more like it. Murder that ship. Buoyancy going down. Can't hit me anymore either. I am, however, concerned about the longevity of the Nagitsu. She seems to be a bit worse for wear, especially when it comes to buoyancy, and these cruisers are not showing any sign of letting up. Come on. Sink already. Thank you. Now, can we safely pen this? Well, we can pen it, just not safely. Miss, miss, miss. Blocked. How explosive it is. At this rate, I might lose the Nigitsu, which is a really bad first encounter for her. Partial pen. Do I dare launch a torp? No, not with them turning that much. Heavy cruiser engaging with torpedoes. Hit. Flooding on them. Nagitsu seems to be controlling her flooding. But I'm concerned about her accuracy and even her ability to shoot at all now that her guns are at a really awful angle. Yeah, I'm not sure she can still shoot anything. Oh boy. Oh boy. Credit where credit is due. These player ships, because that's what I suspect they are, are definitely making it more of a challenge. <laughs> what was that? Come on, port side to Peter Tube against Dalian. Play yourself down a bit. Torpedo away. Dalian sees the torpedo. The Sangui sees the torpedo coming. Aren't they busy, like, evacuating the ship and everything? What the hell? Nice! That was beautiful. Lots of fire. And you, get, you still can't shoot. So you've basically been promoted to a big torpedo boat right now. Seeing as for the rest, you don't have the firepower. Mm, we're going to prioritize the Rehe. 
and see if between the three of us we can sink that. The other one, the Yoshino, is still retreating. She's 28 kilometers out. She'll never be back in time. Starboard launcher? Perhaps? Against that? What the hell is with your accuracy, dude? That the port is starboard. Port. Problem is, they're sticking up. Can you actually see them? Yeah, there's the torpedo launcher. <laughs> nice sailing there, dude. <laughs> we got a lot of water on the wrong side of the hull. Are we gonna ram? I'm rather hoping we're not. Now, the real question is, do the torpedoes have the issue where they cannot launch because of a bad... Oh, because of a bad angle. That was six and a half K. That will probably kill them. <laughs> what happened there? Main tower, full pen. With HE. Oh, God. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> I like it. All right. Now, by some miracle, your 5-inch guns can still shoot. Um, the rest of them, not as much. And I'm rather doubting my torpedo launchers are actually doing anything useful. No, don't ram me! Please. Oh, Maya at it again. That's a lot of damage again. 1,500. Definitely not able to launch torps. Oh, but the turrets from the Nagitsu just went off. Dalian, very, very badly flooding. Burning. You're done for, dude. And here's the Tama. In case they still need help. Which they might. They're... Oh, no, actually, they're not dead. They're combating the flooding quite effectively. They're down to 12% buoyancy. 13. They're definitely surviving. Okay. We might need to give this guy a hand. 9% buoyancy. 7. 4. Nope. Boom. 3300 damage. High explosive from the Gitsu. Yes? No? Maybe? Are you kidding? Flooding? Sink! Thank you. Good lord. These guys put up a hell of a fight. A hell of a fight. Okay, it got 10k out of it. But that was iffy. That was iffy. I gotta say, the way that the Maya pulled through at the end, with almost one-shotting that heavy cruiser, that was glorious. That HE volley might have just saved me. Maybe. And of course the Chinese immediately consider that maybe war was not the right course of action, but we're not done with them yet. No, we are not. They might have lost some ships, but they definitely have a bunch more. Uh, this is going to be a big, big, big battle, so I'm going to be doing this in the next episode, because I want to have the full episode to do it with. Um, this is going to involve the Setsu which is a modernized Mikaho class. And yes, that has 16 13-inch guns. How well that is going to work, that's something we're going to see in the next episode. So thank you guys for joining this one. I hope you have enjoyed this fight as close as it was. And I shall see you soon for the next one.